So I've always been involved in Special Olympics, Best Buddies, Miracle League my whole life. Um, when I was touring here at Villanova, they spoke about how Villanova hosts the world's largest student-run Special Olympics. Um, so since day one of applying and getting in, I knew that this was going to be uh, my club for sure. Especially for me, I feel like the main job, of, the main goal of Special Olympics, especially at Villanova, is inclusion. Inclusion for athletes and inclusion of students. Everyone should feel included. That's the, the word of the weekend, I like to say. Um, so it's really exciting to see how much unified uh, sports has taken off. But we want everyone to feel included to participate because that, again, is the goal of, and I believe, the true mission of Special Olympics and our fusion with it as Villanova students. I also think that it is a really unique event, and I think that's because of the involvement of our campus, our students, and the athletes on our committee. It's comprised of both students at Villanova University and Special Olympics athletes who compete in local programs and are on our committee providing their input, providing their feedback. So we really work all year to keep the athlete experience at the forefront of our planning. And having those interactions with the athletes helps our students learn about Special Olympics, learn about the athlete experience and make friendships. And I think that at Villanova, those friendships are what drive the campus involvement. Once someone gets involved, they understand how amazing Special Olympics is and it motivates others to be involved as well and that's how we've really been able to grow the program throughout Villanova, throughout our committee, our volunteer coordinators, our local program hosts and our inclusion crew. We probably love to be here just as much as they love to be here. Um, we both got up at 5.30 this morning so um, rallied and kind of just been carried by the energy throughout the day. It's it's something that's hard to explain, like the feeling of cheering on the athletes. It's just kind of like you get caught up in the moment and it, you just ride it for the whole day and it, and it keeps you up. Um, through a mix of like the early mornings and also like the hours of meeting we've put into this, like we would be remiss not to just try to have like the best weekend of our lives and make athletes have some of the best memories they'll have. So it's it, it's a balance and it's it's worked so far, kind of making making the struggle to get here and it just makes it so much sweeter that we're actually here. My whole purpose here is to make sure that you have the greatest day of your entire life. Is just motivation to keep, keep going. Yeah, I would say it means like everything to see that whatever I'm doing or whatever Jack's doing, it's making these athletes just ear to ear smiling. Win or loss, they're just loving the moment. And I think it's impossible to see some of these athletes smile and not just start grinning immediately or start wanting to dance with them or start wanting to follow them around and it it's like contagious is a word used a lot here and it's like it truly is just like like seeing you know we were working with athletes who were playing soccer and seeing how happy they were when we were cheering them on it's just like it's impossible not to be happy and not to be fulfilled when you see like the fruits of your labor but the fruits of like hundreds of other people coming together to make these athletes just the happiest like they've been in a while I think. I feel like everyone on campus is just so excited to get involved not saying that no one else anywhere else is really excited but it's amazing to see like everyone on campus come together no matter what like even if you have a test net the next day on that Monday everyone's so excited to get involved and do what they can and just make it such a special place for the athletes because I think that's what everyone's here to do. So I think that's a really big part of it. Studying biochemistry and I'm realizing I don't want to work in a lab. I need something that's people facing and building relationships and being immersed in the community here at Fall Fest and like making friendships and building relationships with the athletes is something that's so fun because I get to share it with the students I see on campus. I was on Bocce last year. So this is my third year and I've been on a different management team every year. So it's been really cool to see how the different management teams all contribute to what makes it Fall Fest at Villanova. Um, and last year being on Bocce, we weren't able to use the fin, but we really advocated to have it on campus so the athletes could go to O-Town or check out healthy athletes and get their shoes or their feet fitted for new shoes. Um, and this year I'm on special events, so I've been helping out with the award ceremonies. And it's been so fun to see the athletes 
people are able to compete as though it was like an everyday competition or sort of like the ones they have throughout the year that aren't necessarily Fall Fest, but also experience the student involvement and feel the love of Villanova students on campus and the other things that they don't have at other venues like O-Town and dancing by the barge and listening to music and going to the Victory Jamboree and the opening and closing ceremonies. So. I'm actually the legal guardian and my older sister has Down syndrome and I live in New Jersey and I've always gone to all the summer games, all the fall Special Olympics events with my sister and she's a swimmer uh, for Monmouth County, all uh, the Monmouth Marlins. So that's how I got involved in Special Olympics and just seeing all those opportunities that Special Olympics offered my sister, I knew I wanted to be a part of it at Villanova as well. So it's just natural to join the Special Olympics committee here. It starts from freshman year. You have the, the local program hosts, the LPHs, they're so involved and it's just this deeply uh, like embedded culture in Special Olympics. Like the uh, freshmen are engaged with the athletes. They're very hyped. Uh, they're constantly cheering them on. And it, it goes through the rest of Villanova. So they, it starts off freshman year and they get to experience it and in such a in such a great way and they continue it through the rest of uh, college and it's just it's just the culture of it. it starts right away and it just continues throughout I think it's important because Special Olympics in general is one um, place where they don't really have to convince anyone to see capabilities beyond their diagnosis and I think that they they truly deserve as athletes they deserve the, the this praise and the fact that we're able to give it to them this whole weekend is incredible. When I got here freshman year, I had no idea. I woke up one morning, went outside, and the campus was flooded with people. And every was like, the joy that I felt was crazy. I got a shirt to volunteer and hopped right into it. Um, the next year, got into inclusion crew, and then now joined committee, and I absolutely love it. I guess the the things that people don't always talk about is the, the in-between moments that I really care about. Um, not always when you're like cheering or um, like during competition. Those in-between moments where like yesterday, there was a huge line for food. We were all waiting for food. And instead of just sitting there and like not doing much, turning and just talking to those people around you, the amount of things I've learned, like I learned this whole, this guy's whole life story and the amount of stuff I learned from that one conversation was incredible. And that was just from standing in a food line. So I think that is something that people don't talk about much, it's those in-between moments that you can really grasp hold of and, and that will really resonate with you. I feel like the whole campus kind of shuts down for this event. I mean, yesterday I like didn't even want to go to class because I wanted to get out and hang out with the students, um, the athletes, and cheer them on and just like their presence and all the different tables we have at O-Town. Um, we sister, just did karaoke, it was so much fun being able to sing with the athletes and do all different activities besides um, seeing them compete and cheer them on. Yeah, I also think like throughout the year there are so many events where we can spend time with the athletes. Like there's so many athlete practices that you can go through, go to like through classes, through clubs. So there's just so many ways to get involved with it during the actual weekend of Fall Fest. There's so many different types of involvement you can do and then throughout the whole school year there's ways to connect with the, the athletes who come here every year. I feel that you know, these athletes are no different than us and they can do amazing things. I think you said that someone lifted 518 pounds in there and it's just unbelievable. Like I just, I don't even think I could lift up a five pound weight, like I'm not even kidding. But um, I just think being able to celebrate all their hard work and uh, watch them, cheer them on, like create a family for them. Getting to know the athletes, it's just seeing how happy this event makes them is so special. I mean, today I went to the volleyball awards and I was sitting behind this guy who got a gold medal and he was tapping every single person on the shoulder, showing off his medal. He was so proud and happy and it just, it made me really happy to see like how special this event is for everyone and how much fun they have with it. I feel like people say that it's kind of performative for like us students that like we just want to get involved because it's like a huge thing or it's a huge event. We just like the attention of it or, um, but obviously like if you're not a part of it, you don't really understand it until you're in it. And I just think that we just need to take a step back and recognize and recognize that everyone's just here to, you know, sh give a hand to those who need it and just bring this community together 
in a way that most people don't expect it. So.